here. What are you doing watching this video without the commenting or subscribing or any of that larky? I'll have you, I will. My name is Officer Mustache, as you can tell by my beautiful mustache. And I'm here to tell you that this is going to be a video on things. Thank you, Officer Mustache, for that fantastic introduction. We're um, back on the table of cars. And, uh, yeah, cars, table, bag. Mm. So the bag I've got today is mostly made up of newer uh, Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars that I'm not particularly interested in, and one car that I literally brought the entire bag to get my hands on. So we're going to go through this entire bag and just see what kind of horrors we can unleash upon the world. Although I have the feeling that only one of these vehicles is actually going to go to the land of amazing and the rest of them are just going to the scrapyard being escorted by Officer Mustachio. Like this one. <sighs> Off to a horrific start immediately, as far as I care. Now it's um, solid orange tyres. HW Prototype 12, I think we've seen this one before, is just a red body with a bit of white painted on it and it feels very light and very cheap and there's not much going on and I hate it. Uh, what does it say on the side? Can we read it? Fire Department. So this is something to do with the Fire Department apparently. I'm not impressed already. Right, what about this thing, which I just dropped? This doesn't look like a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox or anything like that. It looks like a Chinese knockoff from some kind of joint construction set. And you can confirm that by the fact that this bit doesn't lift up. And look at the, oh my goodness, look at the range of motion on that. You know, you might get round a corner in about a year if you're lucky. This is Corgi. This is a Corgi. What the hell is wrong with Corgi? I mean... We can be realistic in our expectations by putting it on the genuinely needs a separate vehicle to transport it because it's heavy truck, but what the hell is Corgi playing at? It doesn't even fit on there. That is an awful quality thing, and I hate it. Mmm, hate. I know, it's one of these. Now, the last one of these in this kind of colour that I got went in Pidge's cage, and it's still in there. Um... Yes, uh, this one hasn't gone in Pidge's cage, though, thankfully. As you can see, this is, um... Uh, it's it's a nice design. I like the bodywork. I like the, the stickers and everything, but I just don't like the tyres. If these tyres were black, this car would totally get a pass from me. But because it's not, it just doesn't. It just doesn't quite sit right. And this is obviously this is the line that Hot Wheels made a couple of. This is um, a Ford Fiesta. Makes sense. Now, we had the Mini before, which, as I said, went in Pidge's cage. And as you can see, he's... Um, well, he's done what pigeons do. Um, I do like to put random toys and things in his cage for him to play with, and this one was sitting in a corner, completely discarded. So I'm just going to put that over there and prepare to wash it. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad. I just, I'm just not a huge fan of it. It's better than that bloody thing. Uh, talking about bloody things. Do I really have to say anything? I mean, we know what my YouTube channel is like at this point. I am very particular about the cars that I do and do not like, and this is one that I do not like. This is a 2003 thing, the Limelt. This is the Limelt. Hello, my name is Limelt, and I will Limelt all over you. Mm, melting. I set Pidge off because I've been in his cage and stolen this thing, and now he's playing with a ladder. You just have to do that when I'm filming. It's, oh, God. I feel this is worthy for you to watch YouTube. He's got it stuck. There you go. He knows he's being watched now. He got it stuck. He had it properly going up and down. Oh, he's about to muck himself. He had it properly going up and down. He was dragging it along and getting cross. And then he... Oh. <sighs> Thanks for that, Pidge. Mind you, you did sum up my thoughts on this product absolutely perfectly. Uh, I think we're probably going to censor that bit out, to be fair. Yep, don't like that whatsoever. Mmm, this is a good bag. Now, what about this? This one doesn't look too bad. It's um, It's got a design. It's got wheels. It's got a solid body. You can see through into the seating area. It's, you know, chrome seat. Nothing particularly wrong with it. It's Hot Wheels. When is it? It's uh, 1990. I had the feeling that this was an earlier one, just based off the wheels, to be fair, because they don't make them like that anymore. So, not the oldest in the bag for certain, but one of the oldest, or actually, it might be the oldest. Um, 
that's not bad. I don't mind that. Hot Wheels 90s cars were a bit weird. A bit like um, matchboxes. They were very um, unique in the way that they were. Nothing wrong with that one, though. We're already halfway through the bag. Moving on to this thing. Nice, worn out. Uh, black wheels. Don't like how much of the front is overhanging there, but it's not my car. Very worn out. Obviously had a lot of play. And uh, it's a plastic body, not um, not a metal body, which is a bit weird. Um, as, as Z28, what have we got? We've got... A Camaro Z28 made in Malaysia. Yes, doesn't appear to be a date on this one. Actually, looking at it, um, how peculiar they normally date these things. Not really my uh, cup of tea when it comes to toy cars. I don't like the fact it's made out of plastic because it's all made out of plastic. But um, I'm sure it's as a hot wheeled car, it's fine. There's nothing particularly wrong with it. What about this thing? This is a. Uh, it's got bones on it. Look now. Uh, if we consider this is a right and left hand, so this is my hand. I um, have broken my hand. I think it's there, 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 and there, and have two metal plates. Oh wait, no, it's in the hand area down here, so it's no more like here and here. Uh, and have two metal plates running down in my hand. You can uh, see the scar literally there and there. So that will be here and here. And yeah, this is a car that has bones. And looking at the wheels, you can tell it's not a Hot Wheels. And it's not a Matchbox. It's just a cor It's a Corgi. I thought this was a cheap Chinese knockoff. Again, that's twice that Corgi have surprised me. This one isn't as bad as that one, though. I mean, it, it kind of looks cheap and it feels cheap. But it does, you know, they're not attempting to put like a turning machine in. That doesn't work. And they've not put like um, a shovel on the front. That doesn't work. So yeah, it's all right. Don't mind that from Corgi. Let's go through from the last of the ugh, cars, which is this horrific pickup. I'm sure somebody likes this. I don't. He's, he's, he's pulling the damn thing up again. It's quite entertaining. <sighs> Malaysia 2012. This is the hyper truck. I have nothing else to say on the matter. Nothing else to say on the matter other than Pidge... Literally managed to drag it up and then immediately dropped it. But at least he didn't put my opinion out for me this time. I'm going to have to clean his cage again, aren't I? Right, so we come down to two cars now. And me desperately attempting not to show you any more footage of my pigeon basically shitting himself. So we're going to cover um, the Hot Wheels now. The last Hot Wheels before we move on to the only matchbox in the bag. Which is this. And, oh, God. Oh, that's, that's sticky. Oh, that's sticky. I don't want to handle that. That's sticky. Uh, it's a Mustang 69. It looks like it's rusty, but it's sticky, and I don't want to handle it. Oh, uh, uh, God. Ugh. Nasty. <sighs> this has been a very weird bag, but we're going to a close now. We're coming on to the last one. And we've seen these before, but I purposely picked this one up because of its condition. So the only reason I brought this entire bag is this. The last car in the bag, which is a Matchbox Thunderbird, I think it is. Uh, yeah, T-Bird. Turbo Coupe. 1987. So the oldest car in the bag that we've seen, realistically, and just in really, really nice condition. Like almost, you know, there's a scratch there, but almost fresh out the box condition. And I, I like these. I've got a couple of these, but I've not got one that's in nearly as good condition as this. So this is going on the shelf of um, cars and buses and so forth with some other bits and pieces. So yes, a genuinely very nice car there. But it does leave the question of what's going on the carrying thing and what's going to the scrapyard. Well, um, we're going to put the Thunderbird there because he deserves to be on the nice special one and that's uh getting his own police escort by uh mustache off, off to the shelf of interesting objects now we're going to move on to the all right we'll let these not be crushed um which is going on this lorry and on the top we're going to have him because yeah i don't want him crushed he's all right uh we'll have this char car because i actually mine that one i'm going to put this corgi on the bottom and we're going to put this one on because it's an interesting combination of plastic and design. So they're in the, um, the uh, not going to get crushed, but probably going to go in a box nowhere. And now we go to the Corgi Crushing Factory. Hmm. Oh, sticky. Oh, ugly. Oh, hideous. Just, just get in there. Oh, nasty and just terrible. They're all going off to the scrapyard. Off to the scrapyard. They go. Well, some of them got to the scrapyard. 
Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm going to censor out Pidge doing his business because that was nasty. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week when I probably won't spend most of the time focusing on my pigeon's quest to carry a ladder up some stairs. Mmm, pigeons. See you next week.